Hello viewers and listeners. I myself, Sri Hari from the Department of Catering Science and Hotel Management, Sri Ramakrishna College of Arts and Science, Coimbatore. I am going to talk on the title or topic bar. So let us see the table of contents. We have we have introduction, types of bar, bar design, parts of bar and uh, shapes of bar. So we are going to see these five major things in this topic. Now what do you understand about bar? So. Bar is a place where all types of alcoholic beverages are served with the accompaniment as snacks. Now let us see bar introduction. It is a licensed place selling all kind of beverages to the customers. So licensed place means the local authority or the state authority or the country's authority should give permit to sell the alcoholic beverages to the customer in a licensed place. Remember this licensed place. So you cannot shift uh, the bar from any other place or not, other than the licensed place. They are found in hotels, resorts, clubs, casinos and as an independent unit. The key revenue generating area of the FMP department of the hotel. Remember, this is one of the key revenue generating areas of the food and beverage service department of a hotel. The main function is to serve alcoholic drinks in the appropriate glassware. So the right drink in the right glass. This is what the rule and also according to the customer preferences. Let us see what the customer prefers. Most of the customers prefers to have their drink neat. That means nothing to do any mixing in the drink. It is just served on their own. So if the and the other one is to the customer prefers to have the drink with ice. It might be crushed ice <coughs> or it might be with ice cubes. Sometimes the customer prefers to have their drink without ice. Sometimes some customers prefers to have the drink with mixes such as tonic water, soda, lemonade, ginger ale, flavored drinks, etc. And this is the very important one for any bar that is the complimentary snacks. Complimentary means it is 100% uh, no charge. That is what complimentary here it refers to. So it goes with the drink as a complimentary. Complimentary snacks such as kebabs, tikas, masala peanuts, wafers, etc. are given as a complimentary to the drinks, the two alcoholic beverages served in the bar. Some people would like to prefer cocktails and some people would prefer only juices or mocktails. The bar must have adequate stock for successful operation in terms of liquor, equipments, garnishes, etc. 
So bar acts both as service and the storage area. The other important requirements are water supply, electricity, lighting system and drainage. These are very important for any bar. So remember, bar needs continuous supply of hot and cold water. The drainage system should ensure that the water drains quickly without any stagnation. Now let us see the different types of bar. In that, we are coming to the pubs. So when we say pubs, it means public houses. Again, it is licensed to sell all alcoholic beverages. In pubs, when we say pubs, it will be serving all type of draught beers or draught beer. We say draught beers or draught beer. It was once owned by breweries such as Kingfisher in India, Mohan Mekins, like some of the examples of that. So these breweries, they marketed their product through the pubs. But today, it has been operated by other business promoters. Let us see what is a lounge bar. When we say lounge, it means it is a part of a lobby. And this is the area meant for relaxing. Normally located near the reception area in a hotel. This serves all kind of alcoholic beverages at lounge. In certain hotels, the drinks may be collected from the main bar and carried on a salver to the lounge and it is served. There are adequate space in the lounge if the volume of the business is more. A separate bar is set up in the lounge if the business is high. These type of uh, lounge bars are found in 5 star hotels, 5 star deluxe hotels, etc. Lounge bars are in airports, clubs, casinos, luxury hotels, passenger cruise liners, etc. Now let us see what is a wine bar. So, wine, when we say wine, it is made from the grape, fermented grape juice. So this wine bar sells only wines. These bars sells all types of wines. It has a good collection of wines from white, red, rose or rosé wines. These are called the still wines or table wines. Then we have sparkling wines that is which is made out of carbon dioxide or we can say it is a carbonated beverages. We have fortified wine that means table wine added with alcohol, neutral alcohol, neutral brandy we can say like that and the aromatized wines. These aromatized wines are table wine plus alcohol or brandy or neutral spirit plus 
the flavoring agents are used in these aromatized wine. Here in this wine bar, very expensive wines are sold. They give free sample for see free sample of wines are given for tasting before making purchase by the guest. Guest buys the wine bottles to drink in the bar or to consume later. So we can see that this is a new concept and becoming popular amongst the wine connoisseurs and affluent people. Next we see the cocktail bar. Now what, let us see what is a cocktail. Cocktail is a mixture of one or two or more alco alcoholic beverages with uh, the secondary ingredients. These are all called cocktails. This bar serves all kinds of cocktails with other alcoholic beverages. So the first preference is given to the cocktail. These are found in airports, cruises, casinos, hotels, etc. Now see, let us see the banquet bar. So what is a banquet? Banquet is a place where different types of functions, either it is formal or informal functions are held. It might be a get together, for an example, it might be a get together party, a conferences, a wedding ceremony, uh, etc. Normally set up in banquet suites for special functions. Generally, the type and quantity of the drink is predetermined at the time of booking the function. The type means here the beer or wine or spirits, example brandy, whiskey, rum, gin, vodka, tequila, etc. So these are the drinks and the quantity means here either it is pig or double pig etc. The drink may be either bought by those who wish to drink or paid by the host for all the drinks consumed by his or her guests during the function. The banquet bar collects the required stock either from the main bar or from the cellar. Okay, cellar means here where all types of uh, alcoholic beverages, the two wines, particularly wines and uh, certain spirits are stored. Cockage charges are levied when the guest brings their own bottle. Remember, when you take any bottle from outside or purchase any bottle from outside of the hotel and bring it to the, uh, to the banquet, it is charged. It is known as corkage or corkages. So again I repeat, corkage charges are levied when the guest brings their own bottle. The last one is the dispense bar. This bar is attached to a restaurant. Serving alcoholic beverages to the guests in the restaurant during the meal time. The stock is collected either from the main bar or cellar. The dispense bar has a main stock of drinks. 
that may be suitable for upper thief to accompany the dishes offered and as a diastive. Let us see what is an upper thief and diastive. Upper thieves are consumed before the meal. Diastives are those which is consumed after the meal. Now let us see bar design. There are three parts in a bar. You can, on the right side you can see the front bar and in the left hand extreme end of left you can see the back bar and on the bottom you can see the under bar. So there are three parts in a bar. In the front bar you can see a bar die here which separates the customer area from the bartender's area. You can see the height of the bar, bar counter is 42 inches. 42 inches. You can see in the center of this design and the you can see the under bar where the bartender will prepare all types of liquors, cocktails, mocktails, juices and uh, garnishes are prepared in the under bar. And uh, in the back bar you can see on the top where all types of uh, the bottles for display to the customer. All types of uh, liquor bottles are placed in the shelves for the customers to view. It's a type of uh, marketing technique. And we have in the bottom of the back bar, we have the storage space to keep all the required spirits, um, kitchen, uh, kitchen, uh, the uh, kitchen items as well as garnishes uh, all are placed in this back bar. Above the front bar we have glass rails. These glass rails are placed uh, or uh, sorry uh, these glass rails are for stem glasswares. Now let us see the parts of the bar, the front bar, the back bar, the under bar. As I mentioned, there are three parts of the bar in that now we are going to see the front bar. The front bar is the customer area or meeting point of the customers and bartenders where the drinks are ordered and so there should be adequate space for preparing the drinks and serving them to the guests. The height of the bar is three and a half or four feet. The width of the bar is 16 to 18 inches. That means this is bar counter. The surface of the bar counter is waterproof as well as alcohol proof material and it should be easy to clean. Most of the bar surfaces differs from bar to bar. For example, it may be laminated plastic, granite, marble, wood, etc. Some of the bars have armrests running from one end to the other. This should be padded for comfort. The front bar is supported by a bar die, which is a vertical structure separates the customers and the bartender's work area. 
Remember, Bata is a vertical structure, separates the customer's area and the, and the bartender's work area. The customer side of the bar die may be padded or carved or decorated or left to plain. So designs, these are all various types of designs in the bar counter, in the customer area. Remember? The footrest runs on the customer side from the floor of about 9 to 12 inches. In case of sit down bar, there will be high stools which convert the bar counter into a table. Each high stool should be comfortable and it will have the space of 2 feet length. The second one is the back bar. The back bar has the dual function as a decorative display area. Hard working storage space that is uh, decorative display area means it will be in the above the storage place area where all the different types of liquors are displayed for customer and uh, the bottom of the back bar is where the storage space. This is located at the back of the front counter where there is a space for the bartenders to work efficiently. They have display racks set above the storage counter. Back bar consists of liquor bottles, that's what I meant it before, assorted glass wares placed in an attractive manner which reflects the appearance of the bar. The display racks acts as a merchandising device by displaying various types of liquor and liquor bottles. The mirror in the display counter adds depth to the room as well as the bartenders can observe the customers discreetly and also the customer can view others in the room. Many bar includes pictures, posters, plants, antiques, tainted glasses, etc. to make the bar more attractive. There are overhead slot, slotted racks to store the stemware which makes the bar more attractive. The storage space and the refrigerated cabinet is in the base of the back bar. This is the place where extra stock such as drinking straws, napkins, cocktail umbrellas, jugs, salvers, sugar, condiments and sauces are stored. The base of the bar may also accommodate special accompaniments like bottle cooler, glass froster, non-alcoholic beverage dispenser, cash registers, etc. The base of the back bar is wider than the display rack. The design of the back bar must be pleasant and functional as it is the center of attraction in any bar. The design must blend with the overall theme of the bar. Now let us see the last part of the under bar. It is an area under the front bar of the bartender's working area. While designing the under bar, the workflow must be considered like drinks to be made, equipment required and mixes needed for preparing the drink. Under bar may be divided into many workstations. This depends on the volume of the business. Each workstation has its own equipments and supplies 
within the reach. The liquor or liquors are grouped into well brands and call brands. Well brands are house brands that are served to the guest who do not specify a particular brand of liquor. I'll again repeat. Well brands are house brands that are served to the guest who do not specify a particular brand of liquor. For example, they ask for a scotch or, or any other whiskey, brandy, gin, vodka, etc. Like that. They ask, I would like to have a whiskey, brandy, like that. Now let us see what is a call brand. Call brands are the one which is requested by the guest by name. So, call brands are the one which is requested by the guest by name. Example, Johnny Walker Blue Label, Johnny Walker Red Label, Johnny Walker Green Label, Blender's Pride, Canvas, then uh, Glen Fletch, Glen Morangi, etc. Busy bars will have automatic dispensing system in each station. It includes lot beer dispensing unit also. Clean glasses should be stored in glass shelves or on the overhead racks. The reserved stock, that is wines, liquors, beers, kitchen supplies, are placed in the separate storage area. The underbar has provision for waste disposal and hand wash. The minimum space is 8 feet between back bar and front bar. Finally, it is where most of the equipments and supplies for the products being sold are arranged compactly and efficiently to facilitate the speed of service. Now let us see the shapes of bar. Before that, we can see some of the points to be noted in shapes of bar. The first one is volume of the business. Variety of drinks on offer, the area available, shape of the area, convenience of operations, theme of the decor, plumbing work, exposure to guests, etc. So these are some of the points to be noted in the shape of the bar. Let us see the various shapes of the bar. In that we have straight bar, straight shaped bar, L shaped bar, U shaped bar, wave shaped bar, round, square, rectangle and irregular shape. These shapes varies according to the space and the type of establishment. These are some of the sample of bar shapes. I hope you enjoyed my lecture. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.